All right, Shalom, Shalom. All right, before I begin, I'm going to start out. Let's see, maybe it's better close. Yeah, they close. Let's start out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rah Kakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach, and of course, where I learned this truth. All right, peace and salutations. To Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai's elect. All right, that being the house of David. All right. Today is uh, May the 11th, year 2024, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. All right. And uh, just wanted to come out and uh, do a little sit down right fast. All right. And Lord willing to be edifying. All right. So to begin, this is where we're going to start with. All right. Well, I'm looking for a scripture. Let's, uh, you know, talk about what we, what's going on in the world today. All right. Tomorrow. All right. A lot of the people of the world are getting ready to go. All right. Worship their mothers. All right. For so-called Mother's Day. All right. Which is completely off. Wicked, all right. You're supposed to honor your mother and father, your father and mother, rather, all the days of your life, all right. Not just one day, all right. But you know, tomorrow is that day, all right, that all these Jakes are gonna be out, you know, uh, woman pleasing, all right. Okay, let me read this right quick. Yeah, Jake gonna be out, uh, woman pleasing and shit, all right. And that in itself, you know, shows who the true Israelites are as well. Because, you know, Jake is a uh, mama's boy by heritage, pretty much, all right? When you understand the story of Jacob and Esau, when they were children, all right, uh, Jacob was under his, his mother's tutelage as far as uh, how to uh, supplant Esau and getting that blessing from their father, Isaac, all right? His mother told, told him everything he needed to do, all right? You know, and when his mother, uh, you know, when she passed, all right, he was, he was, he was hurt for a minute, all right, like, like any true Jake would be, all right. You know, Jake just has that love and that affinity for their mother and their grandmothers and their aunties and all that. But you know, the majority of these women over here in Babylon the Great, aka America, are wicked and rotten to the fucking core, all right. So you know. That's going to be a delusion that the, that the Lord is going to bring upon Jake in the days that we're coming into. A lot of you niggas' delusion is going to be that fucking woman you love so goddamn much, all right? You know, you know, when all hell is breaking loose and when Esau is uh, using that order out of chaos and coming down with that sword like he was created to be on you niggas, all right? You know what I'm saying? Esau going to do a lot of things that, you know, hey, the scriptures say it's going to be a time like never was since it was a nation. So Esau going to do things that he uh he probably ain't never done before himself, all right? And that's a stretch in itself, all right? Because we're talking about the devil the Bible speaks of, all right? And Esau, if I ain't make this clear, is the so-called white man, which he is not white, he is red, all right? You know, the descendants of Edom, all right? Well, the descendants of Esau or Edom, all right? Esau became Edom, you know? That's your so-called white people today. Now, understanding, no, uh, it could be a so-called white person that's truly not a white person, all right? They could go back to another line, all right? But those that go back to the spirit and uh, the, the bloodline of, of the Edomites, all right, you know, they're the wicked. And they're who your Haobashim Al-Shai is going to use to come down on you jakes with holy hell, all right? The scriptures tell you on... Um, who shall deliver me from thy sword? All right. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. All right. Esau is going to be bloodthirsty out here. All right. The scriptures describe him as such. All right. And the Lord is going to let him, uh, rain a little bit. The Lord is going to let him, uh, take a lot of you jakes out viciously. All right. Violently. All right. Because you don't serve the Lord with fear and trembling. You don't serve your Habashim, your All right. The scripture tell you. You can't serve two masters, all right? And our people, they refuse to return to your Habashim, your But 
the cold part about that is, all right, the Lord don't want him on this side, all right? That's Job 12 and 16. With him is strength and wisdom, the deceived and the deceiver are his, all right? And two-thirds of our people are definitely deceived, all right? So I'm going to read this scripture right here in Jeremiah chapter 10. All right. <clears throat> we read this scripture uh, on all the hell of days of Babylon, all right, that our people seem to be taken by, all right. Okay, so let me see. Give me one second. I'll turn my high spot on. <clears throat> Why it's loaded, I'm openly paraphrasing. It's the uh, learn not the way of the heathen, all right. All right, this is the Jeremiah 10, starting at verse 1. It say, Hear ye the word which the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, speaking unto you, O house of Israel. All right, so the Lord is speaking to the Israelites and the Israelites only. This ain't for the world. All right, this ain't for the other nations. In fact, it continues on and says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen. All right, that's the other nations. All right, and to prove that. Let's go right here to Second Ezra, chapter six. All right, and we're gonna start at verse fifty-four. All right, it reads, "And after these, Adam, also whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen." All right, and that's the Israelites. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Because thou made us the world for our sakes. Alright. So the world was made for the Israelites' sake. Alright. But let's hear what they got to say about the other people. As for the other people, that's the other nations, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that thou art nothing but be like unto spittle. So the Lord said the other nations are nothing and they're like likened unto spit. Alright. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. All right, so like a small drop of water that fall out of a big cup of water. All right, that's how insignificant you are. All right, you Edomites are like these little rain. You Edomites and you other nations are like these little raindrops on the window. You know, you're, you're nothing. All right. Verse 57. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen. So the Lord called them some heathens again. All right. Which have ever been reputed as nothing. Called them nothing again have begun to be lords over us and to devour us, all right? And one of their ways of devouring us is having us take after their customs and their ways, all right? You know what I'm saying? Psalms 83 is the perfect breakdown on what went, on how, they, how it went down with these nations and, to the, and their uh, method of destroying Israel, all right? It say they, let me read it right quick. It say they took counsel together, all right, to destroy Israel from being a nation, all right? This is Psalms 83. All right, tell you the declaration that these heathens made together. And this is why they all gonna serve slavery together, all right? Psalms 83, starting at verse one. Keep not thy silence, O, o Lord. And it's like your power. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. But lo, thine enemies make a tumult. So these are our enemies, all right? For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. All right, so they say they hate us. They call us. They say they are our enemies. All right, enemies is a uh, plural. It's not enemy. It's enemies. All right. Let's see. I want to get the definition of this word right quick. Let's see. All right. They say. Tumult, a disorderly agitation or milling about of a crowd, usually with uproar and confusion of voices, commotion, a turbulent uprising. All right, so that's what they was doing. All right, when they was having that council. All right, so again, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And consulted against thy hidden ones. 
They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. All right, that's why today, all right, they call us Negroes, Haitians, Jamaicans, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, Cubans. All right, you know. Uh, <clears throat> and Jacob was scattered throughout the four corners of the earth as well, throughout all the nations. But as far as Israelites are concerned, you know, they, they got those particular names on those um, tribes. All right. You know, the Seminole Indians. All right. You know, all of that. Okay, so um, again, for low, I mean, for they have consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. All right, and let's see who these nations are. The Tabernacles of Edom. All right, that's the so-called white man today and his children, all right? They go back to the line of Esau, all right? Perfect example of those would be, um, you know, like uh, King Charles, all right, and his descendants, all right? You know, Prince Harry and Prince... William and all them, all right, those are the Dukes of Edom today, all right, the, the descendants of Esau, all right, the Rothschilds, all right, the Yetis, all right, the Eipenhowers, all right, all of those families, all right, or Edomites, all right, they go back to Edom, all right, and all of them ish people that claim to be Jews, all right, they're Edomites as well, all right, they say, and the Ishmaelites, all right, that's the, uh, the sand niggas, all right, the so-called, you know, Palestinians and, you know, the, the uh, dragons of Arabia, all right, Esau, I mean, not Esau, Ishmael's line, all right, they got Moab, Moab is a, uh, the Chinese, that represents the Chinese, all right, then you got the Hagarines, let me see what that is, let me see, I'm not exactly what sure they when they snow they probably they heathens though. Let me see. They probably another tribe of Ishmael, who knows? Alright, I'll figure that I'll find that out though. It say the Hegarines is a term widely used by early Seretic Greek and American sources to describe the early Arab conquerors of Mesopotamia, Syria, and Egypt. The name used in Christian literature by, I mean, Christian literature in Bastine Chronicles for having Arabs. All right, so I guess according to them, they would, they would be uh, Ishmael, but I'll make sure I get that clarified for sure. All right, so going back to it, uh, then it say, verse 7, Jabal and Ammon, all right, Ammon represents the Japanese. All right, and Amalek. Amalek is the Ish people. All right, the so-called Jewish man. The Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. All right, those are Hamites. All right. So all those nations came together. All right. And they uh spoiled Israel. All right, you know. When you read Joel 3, it tell you about... um. See, let me go to it. All right. Verse 8, let me finish this out. Ashur also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot. Say lie. All right, the children of Lot is Ammon and Moab, all right? So all those nations that I just read, you know, they came together to destroy Israel, all right? And they do it every day, even it, even to this day, because we still yet this day in our captivity, all right? It's Joel 3, starting at verse 3. It says, And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot. And sold a girl for wine that they might drink. All right, you can watch any slavery movie and all that, and you can see what went down and how Esau dealt with us during um plantation slavery. All right, that nigga was a fucking beast. All right, and just think the Lord is gonna make him go harder than he went then in the times we're coming into now. All right, but the elect are gonna be covered. All right, all right. Um, verse four. It said, yeah, and what have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? That's these Hamites. And all the coast of Palestine. Will you render me a recompense? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I, recom will I return your recompense upon your own head? Meaning, for what you did to us, it got to be done to you. All right, you fucking Hamites. All right. And it said the coast of Palestine. All right, you got to understand, um, the original Palestinians were Hamites. All right, Ishmael in that land right now. But anyway, because that's David was fighting the uh, Palestine. Pal what was it? The Philistines? No, that was the Philistines. All right. It's like you. 
Anyway, uh, verse five, it says, because you have, because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples, my goodly pleasant things, the children of Judah, all right, it's the southern kingdom, and the children of Jerusalem, it's the northern kingdom, have you sold unto the Grecians that you might remove them far from their border, all right, and that's what they did, all right, when, um, Vespasian and Titus, you know, sacked Israel, and we, and, uh, we, we scattered, you know, into the places where we scattered, right, a majority of Jake, a lot of Jake went out to, uh, Africa, you know what I'm saying, out, out in that area, all right, them Hamites knew where we was, and, you know, later down the road, they, they rounded us up, and they sold us into slavery to these Edomites, all right, let me see, they say, Behold, I will raise them out of the place whither ye have sold them, and will return your recompense upon your own head. All right? And that's starting the next, starting the day, because the Lord has risen Jake and got Jake back on his feet. And that began with a man, well, we recognize as the man of uh, Abba Bivens, all right? You know? In 19, what was it, 1970, 1969? All right? You know? That's when Abba Bivens came on the scene, and that's Elijah in the spirit. All right? And, uh, you know, we got our apostles and our elder bishops and our elders and the brothers on down who've been holding the line ever since, all right? And I've been right willing, you know. I ain't doing to the end, and I stay a part of that as well, all right? So let me continue on. Let's say, um, and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabaeans, to a people far off. For the Lord, Yahweh Shemai Washai, has spoken it. All right, so that's the oncoming judgment to all you nations, all right, that was in, mentioned in Psalms 83, all right? This is your judgment, all right? Your sons and your daughters being sold into the children of Judah, all right? And Judah represents all of the tribes in that aspect because, you know, Judah and, and Israel are going to dwell safely together and none going to make them afraid, all right? That's going to be the kingdom of heaven right here on this earth, all right? And the king of Judah, Yahweh Shai, is going to be at the forefront of it, all right? And Jake is going to be perfect. All right. Ain't going to be no Jake on Jake crime no more. All right. It's going to be straight. Jake ruling the earth in the way he's supposed to. Because, again, the earth was created for Jacob's sake. All right. And Jacob's descendants' sake. And not for you heathens. All right. You heathens were created to be servants and slaves to Jacob. All right. And that's what you're going to be. All right. Whether you believe it. All right. Whether, whatever. That's what it's going to be. All right. You're going to be a servant to Jacob. All right. For a thousand years at that. All right. And just think one day with the Lord is a thousand years and a thousand years is one day. All right. The Lord going to stretch that time out, man. You devil's going to be in captivity forever. It's going to seem like, all right, you know, you know it's, man, that's what you got to look forward to for putting your hands on the Lord's goodly, pleasant things. All right. Starting with his precious elect. All right. Because the elect got caught up in this shit, all right? All of the Lord's chosen got caught up in these, in this judgment, all right? The scripture told us in Deuteronomy 28 that Israel and their king shall go into captivity, all right? So King David even got put in slavery over here, all right? And all of David's soldiers got put into slavery over here. And all of those who was part of the elect, you know, we had to go through, you know what I'm saying, this thing, all right? So if the Lord did this to his chosen, excuse me, all right, if the Lord did that to his chosen, can you imagine what the Lord is going to do to those who ain't his chosen? You heathens, you fuck, you pieces of spit, all right, as the Lord refers to you as, you nothings, all right, you insignificance, dust of the balance, all right, just imagine what the Lord is going to do to you, all right, if he did this to us, all right, and let's get it. We're going to read it in Jeremiah 49 right quick. Let's start at verse 12. No, we're going to start at, we're going to start at verse 7, all right? We're going to let Esau know what's coming his way, all right? Because he was first on that list, all right, uh, on Psalms 83. So he's going to get this shit first right here, all right? This is Psalms 49 and verse 7. It says, concerning Edom. Thus said the Lord of hosts, or I mean in the Lord of armies, is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perished from the prudent? Is their wisdom vanished? All right, these are questions the Lord is asking. 
Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan. For I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. All right, and the Lord is visiting you, Esau. These devils are having dreams and all types of things, all right? Isaiah 63 tell you, who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? All right, so the Lord is already visiting you devils, all right? But you just wait. This is just a, you, you ain't even at the tip of that iceberg yet, all right? You know, you just wait, Esau, Edomites. All right, if grape, verse 9, if grape gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night, they will destroy till they have enough. But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places. And he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not. All right, Esau can't hide himself no more. All right, these devils have been put on front street. All right, by the men of the Lord, all right. In 2024, if you walking out in your day-to-day -day and you hear somebody say Esau or Edomite and you don't know who it's about or who it's referencing, all right, man, say, you so dead, you don't even know it because it's, it, we, we finna come into that phantom, phantom blah, famine of the word season, all right? And if you don't know who the devil is right now, how the fuck are you going to have any kind of defense uh, or, or knowledge about who to be? weary of all right you're just gonna be taken all right and that's a delusion the lord got a lot of our people in as well all right you know last couple of days and shit i've been around people all right you know i just man bro niggas minds is just i don't know where these niggas heads is all right niggas is all into that kendrick and kendrick and drake shit all right you got the diddy shit that's still out there you know and then you got um you even got Shaq dissing Shannon Sharp on, on uh podcast beef now. All right, I mean you got so much shit getting pumped out there and pumped out there. All right, that niggas is in nigga land right now. All right, these devils is passing laws about uh if you're reading the Bible and this and this can get you this. All right, if you speak about them people, y'all yeah, know what I'm talking about the little hats. You speak about them people and all that shit. The wrong way, you know. I mean, it's just all type of shit being done on the left and the right hand side, and only the elect can have the spiritual eyesight to see it, understand it, and know what time it is. All right, that's just pretty much it, and that's a gift from your Habas Shmuel Shah. Right, that ain't some you just woke up one day and knew. All right, you know the Lord. Well, depending on how you look at it, all right. But the elect was chosen before the foundation of the earth. All right, so. And the scriptures say, I'm going to put you in remembrance, though you once knew this. So, you know, it's levels to it. But at the end of the day, it just, you, you, the way we came into the truth, we didn't, you didn't become on the level in one day. That's what I was meaning to say. All right. The Lord built you up over time and opened your eyes up over time to show you the time that we in right now. All right. So let me continue reading. Y'all forgive me for my talking and shit. I do that. Verse 10, but I have made Esau bare, but I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled in his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave thy fatherless children. I will preserve them alive, and let thy widows trust in me. All right, and that's this one right here in verse 12. For thus saith the Lord, behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. That's Jacob, all right, and Jacob's descendants. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? All right. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink. All right. So that same cup that we had to drink, you devils got to drink. All right. And you know what that cup is? Lamentations, mourners, and woe. All right. Scripture says it's a cup. In the, let me see. Let me find it right quick. I think it's... Hold on, let me find it right quick, y'all. Okay, let me see. I'm going to read this one, then I'm going to find that one, but I'm going to read this one right quick. Uh, Lamentations 4, starting at verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. 
the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. All right. So that's again, that's that cup, that uh, punishment. The punishment of thine iniquity, there you go, is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. So we done going into slavery. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins, all right? So that let you know that Edomites have a judgment coming their way that's unlike everybody else's judgment, all right? And, and uh, their Bible historians know that shit because they put it in there. When you read it, when it uh, next to Edom, it tell you he's the neighbor of the, uh, the Israelites who's uh, of great future judgment and no mercy going to be shown to him. All right. They know. All right. And that ain't happened yet. So to anybody that's thinking the Edomites are done away with. All right. When did that prophecy happen? All right. When did Obadiah happen? All right. It hasn't. All right. It's coming. All right. And that would mean that the Edomites are in rulership today. All right. Alright. Yeah, Psalm 75 and verse 8. It says, For in the hand of the Lord, Yahweh, there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he poured it out of the same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth, shall wring them out and drink them. Alright. So, hey, there you go. All right. They say the wicked of the earth, all right? And that's Esau, starting with Esau, all right? He is the he is known as the wicked. All right, Job 9 and uh verse 24. All right. They tell you uh the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not where, and who is he? All right. Then you got 2nd Ezra 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Alright. Who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Alright. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. Alright. The Lord coming to take these red devils down. Alright. And it started thundering right after I said that. Yahweh Bashem was Shah Baraka died. Alright. All right, so now let me jump back to that Jeremiah 49. All right. Verse 13, For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach and a waste and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. All right, that's America. America is spiritual Basra, spiritual Edom, spiritual Rome, spiritual Sodom, spiritual Egypt. All right, all those ancient places rolled up into one. All right, and this makes Mystery Babylon the Great. All right, the place of great confusion. What? Y'all better keep your hands to yourself. And you too big to be, man. Go in the house. All right. Anyway, let me continue. Uh, where was I at? All right, uh, all right, verse 14. It say, I have heard a rumor from the Lord, an ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together and come against her and rise up to the battle. All right, because that's how this place is going to go out as well. All right, let me say that too. All right, yeah, how about Shemel is going to destroy the American military in World War Three? All right, and he's going to destroy America through the ICBM nuclear missile that's going to be shot on this place by the other nations, as well as the laser beams out of the chariots. All right. But before that happened, the MOT to the B, all right, which is the Karagma, which is going to be the new digital currency, is going to be implemented first. All right. Elon Musk making big waves with that, with his shit. All right. You know, uh, hey, all these nations or, or, you know, trying their own method but at the end of the day Esau the so-called white man you know he's gonna be the 
the uh the implementer of that thing all right the lord is going to use the devil that the bible speaks of to, to you know force the people to receive his mark all right and if you're an israelite and you take that mark you're going to be left right here to burn in the lake of fire you are going to leave your ass right here in babylon the great to consume all right so again let me read this it's a uh Okay, I read verse 14. I've heard a rumor from the Lord and ambassadors sent among the heathen. All right. It says, For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. All right. And the most despised two Edomites on this earth right now, as far as uh, countries go, all right, is uh, the, is the Israel Edomites Amalek. All right. Over there in the Holy Land right now. All right. And uh, the American Edomites. All right. They're the most despised Edomites on the earth, all right? And that's why those two both are going to be burned off the earth, all right? You know, anybody that's in America and that's in Israel, are going, there's not of the elect and only the elect the Israelites. You in them places, when the destruction comes, you're going to die in them places, all right? The Lord is going to obliterate both those places, all right? Mystery Babylon is getting obliterated. Israel is getting obliterated, all right? Uh, Mr. Babylon, America is going to be a desert, all right? And uh, the Holy Land, which ain't holy now, but the new Holy Land is going to be rebuilt on this earth, all right? You know what I'm saying? By you heathens, all right? You see, uh, verse 16, Thy terribleness had deceived thee in the pride of thine heart. O thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. All right, that's you, Esau. I tell you in Job chapter 30. All right, about that. All right, Esau went into the caves. All right, when the Roman Empire fell. All right, and uh, Jake took over. You had the period of the five good uh, emperors and shit. And at that time, the Dark Ages, as they're called, Esau was in the caves. All right, in Georgia, Russia. All right, in a lower state at that at that, at that time. The Lord had brought him down to being a... a as he said, he had him crawling on our bellies. All right, Esau was in them caves, hunting like like cavemen and shit. All right, he was he was dirty. He wasn't he was uh wearing his clothes today. They deteriorated on him. They was drinking out of their dead relative skulls and shit. They was braying like horses and donkeys and shit. I mean, they was fucking disgusting. And, and, and any time someone saw one, they chased their ass back out of the land. All right, cause he, that's just man. Esau was a beast at that time. All right. You know what I mean? And they took they call themselves Caucasians today. So Esau tells you tell you about itself, but you gotta know the spirit of the Lord gotta be with you, all right, you know, to let you see him. All right, because he'll tell you who he is as part of his sorcery. All right, hiding in plain sight, all right, lying and shit. He's a very, very deceptive devil. All right. He's a cunning hunter. Those are the characteristics of him, all right. So again, to say, Thy terribleness have deceived thee in the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, that holdest the height of the hill. Though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, saith the Lord. All right. Esau got his space stations and shit. Esau likes to live up high. Esau has an elevated mindset about how he does shit, and he sees himself as an eagle. All right. You know, but the Lord said he's going to bring him down from thence. All right. Bring it, bring him off that lofty perch, all right, in mindset and, and, and physically and mentally, all right. The Lord is going to bring Esau to the pit, all right. Let me see. Verse 17, also Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof, all right. That's America. Uh, as in the overthrow. Of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighboring cities thereof, saith the Lord, No man shall abide there, neither shall son of man dwell in it, because the Lord is going to destroy this land, all right? He's going to burn this place up. This place is going to be a desert. It'll tell you about that in, uh, what's that, Isaiah? Isaiah 13. All right, the Lord is going to bring that lightning. I mean, that thunder. We just seen the lightning. All right, Isaiah 13, starting at 1, the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. All right? This is Mystery Babylon, all right? And that ties in with Esau, all right? Let me show you that. Psalms 137 and verse 7. 
Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. All right, so Esau. All right, that's the daughter of Babylon, all right? And this didn't happen to ancient Babylon, so we know this is talking about mystery Babylon. Ruled by the daughter of Babylon, Esau, Edom. Who is his dad coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? All right. So again, the burden of Babylon was Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt thy voice unto them, shake the hand, that they may go into the gates of the nobles. And that's what this word has done, and that's why these devils is making laws to combat this word. All right, we're trying to. They ain't doing shit that the Lord don't want them to do. All right, everything they're doing, the Lord want them to do, because the Lord is getting ready to, you know what I'm saying, wrap this thing up, all right? The Lord got who he want, where he want them. All right, and he getting ready to, uh, you know what I'm saying, bring the punishment. All right, so let me see. Um, let me jump down a little bit. All right, no, we're gonna keep, gonna keep going. All right, we're gonna read it all. Verse three: I have kept, I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones from my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains like as a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. All right, over there in Yahweh Shepot. All right, Jehoshaphat, all right, the middle, uh, not the Middle East. Ain't no such thing as the fucking Middle East. Over there in, um, uh, what is that? Uh, what is it, the Persian? Go over there in that, that area over there, all right? You know, that's where they, these nations are gathering up to fight at, all right? In the Persian Gulf, all right? It's a, um, they come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land, all right, the whole land of Babylon the Great, and the uh, day that's coming is those ICBM missiles, all right, 200 million nuclear missile warheads are prophesied to rain down on this place, all right. You see, how ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. All right, this is how you know this day haven't came yet. Therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt. All right, that's literally and figuratively because the Lord said, I'm going to leave you there and melt you. All right, verse 8, and they shall be afraid. Pains and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. All right, the Lord gonna have you niggas on fire, looking at each other, screaming and hollering. All right, you know what I'm saying, niggas, uh, heathens. All right, men, woman, child. If you wicked and you ain't other lick, ultimately, this is where you gonna be at, going through that burning. All right, verse eleven. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogance of the proud to cease and will lay low the hauntiness of the terrible. Are right, you Edomites ultimately? But every time I read that scripture, I see Esau. But guess who I see standing right next to him? Eva. All right, you know, because she's a, she she's right there in bed with him. All right, and 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 those two demons have to be exterminated. All right, the nigger woman. And the so-called white man, all right? They have to be exterminated. Not the daughters of Zion, the elect princes of daughters of Zion, no. Talking about you two-third filthy, nasty red listening to women, all right? You know, you know those type, all right? It's, it's, ugh. They got to burn right here with, the, with, their, with their red husband, all right? You know what I'm saying? Let me see verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel. Both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners that rub out of it, all right? And they go for two out of three of you Negro, Spanish, and Native Americans. You're going to get destroyed out of this shit, all right? You're going to come back in the kingdom of heaven, but you're going to learn it death by pain, all right? Let me see. I'm going to jump down to verse 11. Nah, we're going to keep reading it in order. Verse 10. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth. The moon shall not cause her light to shine. All right, the missile's going to block out the sun, all right? Let me see. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I, Oh, I read that while I go, my bad. 
Did I read that while ago? Yeah, I did read that while ago. I'll read it again. It's all good. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Verse 12, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. That's the Israelite elect man. All right. And the scripture tell you in Isaiah 4 and 1, seven women, seven being a clear number, are going to cleave to those men. So it is going to be women that are going to be uh, saved out of this destruction from over here. All right. But the majority are going to be destroyed. Oh, excuse me. All right. Uh, verse 13. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall re remove out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts. And in the day of his vengeance, all right, because again, them ICBM missiles going to be hidden. It's going to, as the scriptures say, the earth going to rock to and fro like a drunkard. Laser beams out of the chariot is going to be hidden. All right, the Lord said he's going to sweep this place with the boosum, besom of destruction. All right, like a broom sweeping fire back and forth. I mean, I was telling my, uh, my Eve earlier, we was, uh, we was on the road and where we was driving, we was seeing a whole bunch of just beautiful green countryside land all right this shit is fucking amazing i love seeing it that's why i never liked being in the city but anyway um and i was just thinking i was like man look at all this grass and how and all these trees and how you know what i'm saying uh what is it blush blush they are how you know how beautiful are they all abundant and there's just a whole bunch of it and it's green everywhere everywhere trees everywhere i'm like man all that shit gonna burn all right <laughs> i was like man all that shit gonna catch on fire all right, all the different elements and different shit that's down here is going to catch on fire. It's going to burn, man. Can't imagine what that smell going to smell like. But Lord willing, I ain't here to find out. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to know what that smell going to be like, I'd rather find that in the chariot. All right. <clears throat> but let me continue. It's a, um, and it shall be as the chase roe and as a sheep that no man take it up. They shall, they, they shall every man turn to his own people and flee to his own land. All right. Because we're coming into that time of hate. All right. Uh, we are already pretty much there. Look at all the college camp campuses around Babylon, the great AKA America. Now, of course it's all controlled and you know, they, uh, okay. I was making sure my battery went dead. Um, of course, it's all controlled and it's all set up. All right, by these devils. All right, I think it's George Soros behind this shit. He's usually the devil that does a lot of this wicked shit behind the scenes for Esau. But um, you know, just all the lines in the sand being drawn. All right, the scriptures tell you the love of many shall wax cold. All right, so we coming into that time where people gonna join on to their own people, and if you caught join on to another type of nation of people. More than likely, odds is likely you're gonna get your ass put to death. All right, you're gonna get ate because it ain't gonna be no food. You're gonna get used and abused because Esau is a freak. All right, and uh, that's what the Lord gonna have for you, right? You know what I'm saying? The same thing, vice versa. You 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 eat a mites. You get caught with Jake. Don't it, it's called Jacob's trouble. Yeah, Jake gonna get his ass whooped in it. All right, two thirds primarily. Some of the men of the Lord are gonna be, you know. Executed, next, but uh, yeah, executed, beheaded for the truth's sake, so they die an honorable death. But you other niggas is dying a, a death of a heathen, all right? You ain't gonna get that glorious death, and you ain't gonna come right back, you're gonna have to come back as a baby, all right? So, you know, uh, that's the time we're coming into. Let me continue this. Oh, yeah, and as I was saying, to say, uh, you Edomites get caught fucking with Jake, and you get caught in Jake neck of the woods, all right. You're going to get your ass destroyed as well, all right? Ain't going to be no love out here. The scriptures actually tell you, Jake going to be like a... Jake hands gonna, shall be in the neck of his enemies, all right? Judah is a lion's whip from the prey who shall rise him up. As an old... As Jake is a... Judah is a lion's whip from the prey. He crouches down. As an old lion, he crouches down. Who shall rise him up? The Lord going to rise up Judah, all right? These young, wicked-ass niggas out here who got these switches and these Dracos and... All these other things they call the blammies and all this weaponry Esau then made accessible to these little monsters that evil then created. That Esau and evil then created. They gonna be they gonna be on they gonna be on you two motherfuckers ass the hardest. Esau and Eva, your little wicked niggly hatchling hatchlings that you fucking created, gonna be your undoing in that day. I just seen a video 
uh, the big elder out of Kelly, elder Martha Zakbar, uh, shit, he did a video the other day, this nigga then fucking ran up on this bitch with a, with, with, with a, with a belt, and he like, threw it on the bitch neck <laughs> when she wasn't looking and shit, and like pulled it and then choked her ass and she fell and hit her head on the ground. All right, later ass out cold. Nigga dragged the bitch between two cars. All right, then. You know what time it is. You know what he did. I ain't got to say it. All right. He violated that lady. All right. You know what I'm saying? And they caught that nigga ass today. And he looked just like one of these wild ass wicked ninjas. All right. And just because he looked that way don't mean he a ninja. He could be an Edomite. All right. Because, you know, Eva and Esau always had that love for each other. Let me continue this out, and I'm going to get ready and close it, y'all. All right. Uh, everyone that is joined, I mean, everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. All right. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. All right. Like that woman that got pulled between them cars. All right. Ravished. All right. When it ain't no police to come. All right. You know, she, she, she got knocked out, and she woke up, and dude did what he did. The days we coming into when some shit like that happen, you gonna wake up, your ass gonna be fucking chained up to a goddamn wall in the, I mean, yeah, a pipe in the basement laying on a dirty ass mattress, all right, and you gonna have motherfuckers coming in and taking turns on your ass, all right, ain't gonna be no gathering to come for you women, that's all in Isaiah 32, Isaiah 32 and 9, rise up you women that are at ease, you know what I'm saying, hear my voice, you careless daughters, give ear to my speech, many days and years shall so you be troubled, you careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease. Be troubled, ye careless when strip you and make you bear and girl sackcloth upon your loins. All right? That's what's coming. So you, uh, you pray our whores of Babylon, all right? You know what I'm saying? Verse 17, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, the modern-day Medes of the Russians, all right? Gog and Magog, the head of the snake that's coming to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Tread on America, all right? You know, they're going to burn this flag and light this bitch up, all right? Uh, Russia and all his bands, <clears throat> the dragons of Arabia, all the nations, even NATO. NATO going to turn on you fuckers, all right? You American and you Israeli fuckers. NATO going to turn on you. They're going to light your asses up, too. And then the Lord going to light their asses up, all right? That's how it's going down. It say, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. So you can't buy your way out of this shit. All right, the Lord making this happen. All right, the Lord said he's going to make, the, make them uh, nations think that evil thought. All right. Verse 18, their bows, meaning their missiles, <clears throat> also shall dash the young men to pieces, and, their, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare, spare children, all right? When the missiles drop, all right, well, if you hear, that's your ass, all right? Again, it's going to be little children in that lake of fire, right? Uh, Ezekiel 9, tell you about that. Slay out of the old and young, both maids and little children, all right? Verse 19, in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldeans' excellency, shall be as when you how about some outside power overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. We read that in Jeremiah 49. Verse 20, it shall never be inhabited again. Neither shall it be Dwelt in from generation to generation. Ain't nobody never gonna dwell in this place. Neither shall the Arabian pinch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. But wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and owls shall dwell there, and what's that? stayers shall dance there. It's like if I. What's that enunciation? All right. But desert creatures, goddammit, that's what's gonna be here. And the wild beasts of the land shall cry in their desolate houses and dragons in their pleasant palaces. And her time is near to come and her days shall not be prolonged, all right? Because this is getting ready to come real soon, all right? And can't nobody turn it back. Can't nobody stop it. All right, it's happening. All right. So, you know, I just wanted to speak a little bit, all right? I wasn't able to get out to the camp today. It's raining, and, uh, you know, just different shit been going on. But I plan on being out there. If not tomorrow, I'll definitely be out there Monday. Because, you know, I'll be back in my zone, all right? In my, without, you know what I'm saying? These fucking distractions around me and shit. All right? 
But Lord willing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this was edifying. All right. Uh, any questions, comments, you know, just leave from the comment section. You know, uh, that's pretty much it. So all honor, glory, and praise go to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach in the course where I learned this truth. All right. Peace and salutations to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh elect the house of David, Quorum Yasharala, Quorum Yasharala. All right. Shalom and the Bible ball. Shalom, Michael.